never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Hi, and welcome to my kitchen Today we're gonna make some pickles. I'm gonna share how I make pickles, what brine recipes and everything like that. This is my third time making pickles this year. So if you're wondering, I have a scratch here. I scratch myself during sleeping, so don't mind that, I'm okay. What the plan is? I'm gonna wash and slice these cucumbers. I have to prep my garlic, so I have some there too. I've already thoroughly washed half of my jars. I'm gonna wash the other half too, just to be sure. And they are currently being heated in the oven. I figured because this year has been quite weird in terms of weather and like what's going on with plants and everything, it hasn't been a very great uh, summer or year at all. Because it's August here, we call August um like an infection or like infectious month so it's simply the thing that in august there's a lot more bacteria molds and everything going around i think uh, the jars or the cucumbers or maybe the black currant leaves i have to go pick more were covered in some kind of bacteria or like something got in and because the brine wasn't maybe hot enough or something, they didn't kill all the bacteria and some of it remained and so it started to ferment in the jars. Thankfully my cucumber plants are currently very happy and producing a lot of cucumbers. They, like every other day I can come back with a big bunch of them so we're gonna make do. It's okay, I had a meltdown because of that almost like Few year, a few days ago when I discovered that but now let's just make a new fresh batch it's okay I've done it so many times already usually what I do is I slice the uh, cucumbers because I liked I like the pickled uh, or like I like the sliced pickles because this way it's easier to eat I love using them on homemade pizzas and everything so that's why it's like <laughs> straight from the jar onto the pizza and easier I like that I don't and the other thing is I don't have to pick the exact size cucumbers to fit into the jars uh, we used to do that it was pain so yeah easier for me I like that you can slice them any other way you don't have to slice them if you don't slice them you do have to boil the jars Later in when you've added the brine you are gonna pop them into a big pot with water and Boil them for as long as the temperature in the jar hits 70 degrees Celsius and you will be needing a kitchen thermometer for that to check the temperature. I suggest getting things like this so this you use to raise up or lower down the jars into the boiling water so you don't burn yourself. With the slices, I don't like boiling them or raising the temperature too much because they can get a little slushy or I don't know. The first time I did it, I didn't like the texture that I was left with. So uh, last year and so on, I've been just doing slices, brine, and just screw the lids on and everything is like good to go but i think i do have to heat them a little bit the easiest way to heat these is to see or like look out for when uh, the pickle slices start changing color and i'm taking like all the measures this time because i don't I just I'm gonna try to be as careful as possible so I will get pickles. The other thing I'm planning to do is maybe I'm gonna when I bring in the black currant leaves for the jars I'm gonna wash them this time. I usually don't uh, because the brine is hot enough and everything 
so we'll see and I will heat them a little bit you all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever and I feel so free oh my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up, cause nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time And I know it so well, I will always be by your side All the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby As the water is starting to boil, uh, the one where I have to boil the jars later on is already boiling, so I'm gonna uh, tone that down a little bit. But now it's almost for the brine, water is also starting to boil already. So let's get go over uh, the recipe for the brine. So for Pair one liter of water, you will be needing two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of salt, and one tablespoon of sugar. What you want to do is, if the water starts to boil, you're gonna add in your sugar, mix it well, then when it's done or like dissolved, you're gonna add your salt, and if that is dissolved, you can add in the vinegar. Be careful when you add in the vinegar because sometimes it starts emitting more like bubbles and it can bubble over. So one by one you have to wait when the simmering tones down and then you can add another tablespoon of vinegar. If the brine is ready we're gonna fill four jars right now because I can only fit four into the pot. We're gonna uh, put this in, we're gonna boil the lids and everything. I'm gonna show you. Just 